Hi guys, it's Ken with this week's News Refresh. If you follow our show, you know that almost every automaker has been racing to be the first to produce an autonomous car. In fact, Elon Musk just announced that Teslas will be fully autonomous in just two years time. So is the rest of the industry keeping up with the front runners like Tesla, Mercedes, Audi, and Volvo? Well, Google and Ford decided to close out the year with arguably the biggest self-driving car news of 2015. They're gonna be teaming up to form one hell of a power couple. While nothing between Ford and Google has been made official, Yahoo Autos has cited three sources they say are familiar with the plans on the pending partnership. So, while the paperwork hasn't been signed just yet, CEO of Ford, Mark Fields, is anticipated to put a ring on it at the International Consumer Electronics Show just next month. This combination of muscle and brain should be good for both parties too. Ford has been in the back of the autonomous tech race, so a partnership with Google is a much needed turbo boost. Ford will also be able to avoid the liabilities companies like Mercedes and Volvo had with autonomous cars. If the software causes a crash, the liability be on Google, not the Blue Oval. On the other hand, it's no secret that software is Google's game, not car manufacturing. So to expect them to plunge into the automotive market without decades of engineering expertise and manufacturing infrastructure is a bit of a long shot. In their own words, for us to jump in and say we can do this better, that's arrogant. Plus, their deals with Ford are non-exclusive, so Google is free to make additional deals with other manufacturers going on down the line. But why Ford first? Well, it looks like the road work was already there. The head of Google's self-driving cars project worked at Ford for 14 years, including as the head of truck engineering. Several other ex-Ford employees worked in the project as well, and Ford's former CEO, Alan Mulally, joined Google's board just last year. So it definitely seems like a courtship could have been going on for some time. The only question left is will Ford and Google's partnership make for the power couple everyone expects them to be? Who do you think will get a better deal in the end, Ford or Google? Let us know what you think of this week's story in the comments below. I'm Ken and you've just been refreshed.